Hola chicos, como estáis? Okay, so one thing I want to look at today is just a common mistake that came up a lot in the work I corrected over the Easter holidays. Okay, durante la Semana Santa. Y es la palabra mucho. Okay, so mucho en inglés significa a lot or many. Okay, so por ejemplo, estudio muchas asignaturas. I studied a lot of subjects. Tengo muchos hermanos. I have a lot of brothers. Okay, and the important thing or the mistake that kept coming up quite a lot was mucho changes. Okay, so in Spanish, remember, words are either going to be singular, el, they're going to be plural, los. They might be masculine, so they'll be el or los, or they might be feminine, so they'll be la or las. Okay, um, so if I have a word, for example, like mesa, mesa is singular, it's one table, but it's also feminine. Because it ends in an A, most likely I know it's feminine, so I would say la mesa. Okay, and mucho works like that as well. Okay, so mucho changes depending on the noun that's coming after it. Okay, so if I'm talking about cheese, Mucho queso, a lot of cheese. Comida, mucha comida, a lot of food. Muchos chicos, a lot of boys and girls, or a lot of boys. Y muchas gracias, a lot of thanks, okay, or thank you very much, basically. So it's a lot, it's many, it's much. Okay, so what I would like you to do, I'm going to show you 10. And I'm going to ask you to pause the video there and I want you to see can you fill in what it should look like. Remember you're thinking is the word that follows singular or plural and it, is it masculine or is it feminine. Okay so pause the video, fill in what way it should look like and then we're going to go through the answers. Okay so personas it's going to be muchas personas. Okay, crimen, it's singular and it's masculino, mucho crimen. So these came up a lot in the oral questions where you talk, where you were talking about las ventajas de mi ciudad, las desventajas, eh, lo que haría, what I would do para mejorar mi ciudad, my city. Contaminación, it ends in an ION, guys, so it's most likely feminine. Hay mucha contaminación. Okay, tiendas, hay muchas tiendas. Gente, there are a lot of people. La gente es femenina. Mucha gente. Ruido, okay, most of them will end the same way. Hay mucho ruido, there is a lot of noise. Trabajo. It ends in an O. Hay mucho trabajo. Oportunidades. Again, we know most li likely those words are going to be feminine. Hay muchas oportunidades. Coches es masculino, so hay muchos coches, so it's masculine and plural. Y policía, singular and feminine. Hay mucha policía en mi barrio. Okay, so I've put a few more together on the PowerPoint that I've attached. Will you please go through them and make sure you're happy with how to use the word mucho. Okay, if you need to make notes on this, uh, pause the video and go ahead and make them. 